Okay, welcome to my attempt at Mega Man No Damage Runs. I almost said perfect runs. They're not perfect runs, because I'm going to be using Robot Master weapons where necessary. Um, but for now, we're going after Toad Man. One would think that I wouldn't need Robot Master weapons there. One would be wrong. I tried... God, did I try to finish Toad Man without using Robot Master weapons, and there was one specific room that I could never really make it through. You'll know it when you see it, and the fact that Bright Man has already been taken down is probably a pretty big clue already. Alright, the Toad Man stage. Pretty ominous uh, start here. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. I've made a few attempts to get a perfect run recorded. And by perfect run, I do mean perfect run. I do mean buster only. And that was not successful. There's one specific reason that was not successful. Two one-ups. This can't be good. Um, but we will, we will discuss that reason when he's on camera. For now, we have to worry about making it through this room. Which can actually be pretty hectic. Um, with all the bird enemies and th the fact that the rain pushes you backward and can cause the birds to respawn. It'll also cause them to come in from the opposite direction. Making it really kind of difficult to get through, um, keeping your wits about you the entire time. If you're not going for a no damage run, if you're just aiming for survival, then it's really not that difficult at all. And this is a very easy uh, starting level. Now I am actually kind of sick of this stage, even though you're probably not going to see many outtakes from this session. Uh, I did actually play it many times over the past several weeks, trying to get a perfect run. Not on camera, um, but just to see if it could be done. And I'm telling you now, it couldn't. And the reason it couldn't looks a lot like this guy. It's not this guy, it's his brother, his identical twin, who is a real bastard. And we're actually going to meet him very soon. This one is not too difficult to deal with. But he's also on pretty fair terrain, which means you only actually have to deal with him himself. His brother is... I don't know. He plays a little dirtier. And you're going to see that shortly. Getting a little bit of lag here. I apologize if the video doesn't turn out that well. But hopefully this is the last recording attempt. Once you be that snail, you're pretty much as good as on to the next one. But I need a little assistance in the form of the Bright Stopper, or the Flash Stopper, rather. Because this guy has killed me more times than I care to admit in the Toad Man stage. And it gets really old really fast. To the point that I realize the only way I'm ever going to make it through here, without driving myself nuts, is by using a Robot Master weapon. In future stages, I will not use Robot Master weapons unless necessary, just as I did here. I will do my best to make it through, probably not on camera, but I will do my best to make it through Buster only. If I can, fantastic. If I can't, and we'll see here if I make this jump, this is what ended my perfect run attempt. I was not very happy when I finally made it this far and died from hitting my head. But we did a lot better that time, even if my aim is atrocious. But we're through to Toad Man. So yeah, in the future, I will at least attempt to do perfect runs. No promises on whether or not I ever will. Although I can promise this much. I'm going to fucking come back and kick Toad Man's ass. Perfect run, Buster only. That is a promise. For now, though, and since Toad Man is obviously such a pushover and the fight kind of drags on without anything interesting happening... I'll discuss my um, personal philosophy on the no damage runs, which is that, again, I will use Robot Master weapons if I'm finding that there's an obstacle to me completing the level at all without taking damage. I'll pull out a Robot Master weapon for that. For everything else, I am going to stick to the Mega Buster. I think it's a lot more fun and a lot more fair. It'll lead to some more interesting outtakes as well. I will also not resort to using glitches, with the possible exception of scrolling enemies off the screen. My reasoning for that is that there are very few sections where you can actually do that in the classic series. And also, the game unfairly scrolls things back onto the screen for you so many times that you then immediately have to deal with. 
um, that I think it's only fair that the you know handful of times that I'll be able to use it in my favor, that I do. But that's it. On camera, that is my first perfect run. God, why do I keep saying perfect run? No damage... You know what? If I just say perfect run, just assume I mean no damage run. For my trouble, I get a Robot Master weapon that I may or may not ever use. The Rain Flush. Which, for some reason, I'm always tempted to refer to as the Toad Rain. I also get a fairly worthless Rush Marine Adapter. You will never see that. And that's it. Toad Man is down, and with him, my first attempt at a no-damage Mega Man run. I don't know what Robot Master I will do next. I have a few on my hit list that I think are certainly doable, but we'll find out how realistic it is. If I were going to do a game front to back, no damage, it probably would be Mega Man 4. That would probably be the easiest one. Just looking at the screen, I can see probably four Robot Masters um, that are probably fairly easy to take down without too much hassle. But I don't know if I will do a game front to back. I'm probably just going to leap around the series. So by all means, leave your suggestions, recommendations, tips, or any words of caution in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the outtakes. And I don't have a difficulty analysis, as Rome Mithril does, but I have a substitute, which I think is a little more appropriate to my approach. Hopefully you enjoy. Again, thanks for watching. <laughs>
You may have noticed that there was no watermark on that video. Well, that's due to an anonymous donor who provided me with a registered copy of BSR Recorder. Thank you, anonymous donor. I won't out you, but if you feel inclined to do so, feel free in the comments section below. And I kind of hope you do, because I think a lot of people will appreciate what you've done. It was very selfless. But that's really all. Hopefully, I will see you next time. Yes, there will be a next time. I have already recorded it. And no, I won't spoil which Robot Master it is. Um, but I will see you all then. Until then, thanks for watching, take care of yourselves, and goodbye.